Hello everyone, you are all welcome. I'm here with a new video. Today we started to prepare the place where we will plant watermelons. We drove it a few times and after driving it, it looked like this. Then we determined the places where we would plant watermelons. As you can see, we determined it with these sticks. We determined it vertically like this, up to where that tractor is. What we are doing now is to put fertilizer on the place where we will plant the watermelon. When we apply fertilizer before planting, you can get a more productive watermelon. This is base fertilizer. We use it in sacks like this, or you can also sprinkle animal manure. We are trying to find a solution by purchasing animal manure where we can grow it, and ready-made fertilizers where we cannot. Currently, this field is approximately six acres, a vertically long field. I think six rows of watermelons are planted vertically. Watermelons are planted three rows here and three rows there. If we do not dispose of the base fertilizer, the yield of watermelon may be low because it comes as a seedling. As you know, it is grown as grafted seedlings. If you want, you can also grow it from seeds yourself, but you can also do it with vaccination, whichever you prefer. We grow it ourselves when we can, and when we can't, we buy it as seedlings. Currently, we have our fertilizer spreading machine behind the tractor. We put it on. This is already attached to the shaft. You operate it with a shaft. After starting it with the shaft, it starts to spread fertilizer. In this way, you work the soil as if you were plowing the field and you throw the fertilizer into the bottom of the soil. After doing this, you need to plow the field with a rake to mix it well. We are doing this. Then we will plow it with a rake. Then we will install the drip irrigation system and mulching system. By making your preparations in this way, you can start the season slowly. We will plant our watermelons on April 15th. We tried to find a solution this way. Today we prepared mulching nylons and drips. Apart from that, we prepared the irrigation pipes, as you see here. We finished all of these. We need to start the engine for testing. As you can see here, we used thin drip pipes. When there was a fine drip, we set up a drip irrigation system in two rows, vertically around the watermelon seedling. The length of our field is approximately 300 meters, a rectangular field. So we divided the field into three. We created three irrigation lines. We have a pipe here. We have a pipe here. We also have a pipe below. I will proceed with you anyway. I will explain as I go. If you use a thin drip pipe, it becomes easier to install the system with the machine. When you do it with the machine, the drip tube needs to be fine dripping. Thick drips are not compatible, that's what they told us. We installed the mulching system and drip irrigation system in this field with a machine. There is a disadvantage when you install it with a machine. There is much more soil accumulation from the edges to the middle. Normally, look, the beginning of the mulching nylon is right here or something. The ending is here, but there is a lot of land coming towards the middle. If you ask what happens when the soil arrives, it has the following disadvantage. Grass starts to grow from there. Grass is starting to grow from that edge. Our purpose in establishing this system is to ensure that there is no weed where the watermelon is located. There may have been grass here too, or in that middle part. We are already plowing and clearing the grass in the middle parts. Now we have come to where our first irrigation line is. Since two drip pipes run vertically to each side, we used a total of four valves as two plus two. We bought some valves new, some were from previous years, as you see here. For example, some valves have been around for many years, some have been around for many years. All of them are the valves we have used in the past years. These valves must have a locking system. Let me show you now. These valves must have such a locking system. When you tighten it like this, this drip tube should not come out from here. Since there is a thin drip, if there is no lock system, this pipe will come out of here with pressure. 
Therefore, you will be very comfortable if you choose valves as the locking system in such systems. For example, we have locked them all right now. Since we locked it, it won't come off even if we tighten it like this. Likewise, there must be a locking system where the blind plug is located. I think these pegs of ours are rotten. These latches should normally lock this place. Since it is rotted, this place remains open and as soon as we start the engine, the blind plug is removed with pressure. Normally, as soon as you install the blind plug here, water will not flow from here and all the power will be given to the drips. For example, as you can see here. Now you may ask, what do these valves do? These valves are the remaining valves from the system we established in our previous fields. For example, we irrigated through these valves. This time it didn't come across here either. Actually, we always grow watermelons. It must coincide with all fields. But sometimes minor shifts occur. For example, there were people left in the middle here too. Valves left over from the system we installed in our previous field. You will say that in the watermelon irrigation system, the system is always equal in all fields. But why doesn't it match? Sometimes it doesn't match. We don't understand much either. I think we can make the distances narrow or wide, depending on our eye. For example, as you see here, since we installed the system directly by machine, we removed the drips by piercing the nylon. It was much more comfortable when I took it off this way. Drip pipes are not visible at all and there is no such a mess around. As you can see here, we did this row the same way. And one of the tricks here is this, gasket. For example, as you can see here, if the gasket is not of good quality, water leaks from there. For example, that gasket is probably old. We installed this here, but it will definitely leak from here. Those valves are old too. Some brands valves are of high quality, some of them are of poor quality. We don't know if the plastic is bad, if the gasket is bad, if the valve is bad, if it doesn't fit together, or how it happens, but it gets bad. It leaked somehow. It is necessary to use them with a little higher quality. Also, as I just said here, the valves with this locking system also have non-locking valves. We don't want to take risks, because these are thin drip pipes, because these pipes are very thin. You can use it in one season or at most two seasons. Our other drip pipes are thicker and longer lasting. If you ask what the diameter of these is, they are 16 millimeters. These drip pipes are 16 millimeters and the valves are also 16 millimeters. These big pipes are also 75 millimeters. We have already prepared a detailed video about the irrigation system and mulching system in our previous videos. How do we set up the system? How do we irrigate? How much watering do we do? You can be informed about all processes by watching videos under the name of Watermelon Production on our channel. We will try to upload new videos as much as we can. We tried to prepare this year's video in vlog style to avoid repetition. We will try to convey the production processes again, because we produced watermelons again this year. How is watermelon production this year? This year we did it in a different field. We have planted wheat in this field for several years. Since it is a different product this year, we think we will get a good crop from here. Of course, this is fate. It may not happen. There may have been any problems. We think that if we set up the whole system properly, we will be much more comfortable. If there is any problem, bad weather conditions or illness, we will proceed by taking precautions. Drip irrigation system remains under the mulch nylon. We will plant watermelon seedlings on nylon mulch. We made our own equipment. Our equipment is A-shaped. We determine the places where we will plant the seedlings by piercing the nylon by turning it around. The size of A equipment is clear. We plant the same size every year. We have been trying to maintain these standards for years. Think of it this way. We are drilling holes in this way, this way, this way and that. The watermelon is now ready for planting. This year we will use both the seedlings we grow ourselves and the seedlings we buy. Currently, approximately 2,000 watermelon seedlings have arrived. We will plant approximately 2,000 seedlings here. The seedlings we will plant in our other field have not arrived yet. We haven't grown any of our own yet. I think they will be a little later too. For example, we sow up to here and we sow up to here. There is this much space left empty in the middle. We don't plant it here. There is a T pipe here. There is an L pipe, that is an elbow pipe, ahead. From there it spreads horizontally into the field. I won't go all the way to the beginning of the field. I already explained the system to you. I had to explain it a little superficially, because we were in a hurry while doing the process. I did not have the opportunity to take a video. 
But after I plant the watermelon seedlings, I will be showing them to you. I will try to capture the sowing stage as well. This is how we set up the mulching system. We installed it by machine. I couldn't show the installation with the machine either. I will show that too. I'll keep you waiting until I can show you. Our field is ready for watermelon planting. We will try to plant our seedlings in a few days. I don't know when I will share this video, but most likely when I share it, we will have planted watermelon seedlings. By the way, we were going to do this process quicker, but it rained. When it rained, the soil turned into mud. When the seedlings came suddenly, we had to do it quickly. There was a bit of a delay in that regard, and we didn't want to install the system too early. Because this time, when you set up the system very early, it grazes. When it is close to planting, we plow the field if it is grazed by then and then prepare the system. If you do it when it rains or the soil is moist, it becomes loose while applying and the soil covers the nylons with the moisture. It remains hard when it dries. So we tried to balance that. We waited for it to dry a little more. We will continue to convey to you the production processes in our other field, watermelon production processes and the production processes of all the crops we grow. We ask you to subscribe to the channel and like the video. Don't forget to share and tell your friends. If there are any parts that you think are missing or wrong that you would like to say, please do not forget to tell us in the comments. Don't forget to support us. Keep farming.